Hey guys, Crewman here, and yesterday I told you guys that if you were just mining Caspa, you should be mining Caspa and Zill. And I showed you and explained why K1 pool was the best pool to do that on. So I had a few comments on that video, and a few people messaged me asking me, hey, how do we actually dual mine Caspa and Zill? Because we've only been mining Caspa or ETH or single mining a coin. So I thought in this video it would be the perfect time to go over how to dual mine Caspa and Zill. I'm gonna start at showing you how to set up the wallets, where to get them, and then we're gonna move all the way to the overclock settings for the GPUs and everything in between. So let's get to it, guys. So the first thing you need is a Caspa wallet. You go to Caspa's website, and I'll put a link to the wallets, and you have three options, mobile, desktop, and command line. Whichever one you pick is up to you. I prefer the desktop. So you just download it, set it up, and you're good to go, and you generate a wallet address, and that's Caspa's done. Now you have a lot more options for Zill. If you go to their website, which I'll link down below, they will actually explain all the different wallets. I use Exodus. It's simple and easy. You just download it, you set it up, you go to Zill, and you pull up an address, and you're good to go. Now I said before that I think K1 is the best pool to mine on because it frankly just pays you out the most and that's that's what matters uh, you just have to set up an email create an account or use your personal email whatever you want to do create an account and you're good to go now remember when you set up your address because it will give you one address in there that you'll be using for everything uh, it will have you link the coins that you actually want to mine like you'll link your Zill address you'll link your Caspa address etc to that address in the k1 pool account uh, also if you are using k1 please use my link down below it helps me out and helps channel out and i really appreciate it the more help i get the more videos i can make and the you know the more i can do for the community all right so this first screen on the top right that's what it should look like when you set up your flight sheet in hive os um, you should have the coin caspa the coin zill you should have your wallet caspa and zill um, they'll actually end up being the same address, but you'll have to set them up twice if you're using K1 pool, uh, and just because it's how Hive works. And then the pool, you'll have K1 pool on CAS, and on Zill, you have to cancel K1 pool. I just clicked it, but you just cancel it, and you uh, you get back out of the pool, and you have this is what it looks like. Now I use Regal Miner for all of my AM or for all my Nvidia cards. So the first half of this video is going to talk about NVIDIA, and then I'm going to go to AMD, which you have to set up completely different. And I believe Regal Miner is the best on dual mining. So it's the miner that I use. Now if you look at the image on your left, it's the first coin. It shows you what you have to do. You just fill out those lines exactly. The extra config arguments are where you put your overclocks. Um, so the first batch of overclocks are your settings for caspa and then the second batch are your settings for eth uh for zill which is an eth hash algorithm now there's two things i want to point out on your lock memory clock setting if you see a with next to two there's an x you have to have that x there because if you don't it will cause your miner to crash every time it gets out of zill and swears tries to switch back to caspa it will just crash and it won't work so that is imperative to do. As far as I understand it, it allows Zill to go back to its memory. I'm sorry, it allows uh, Caspa to go back to its memory lock. And it does. If you if you try to lock it on Zill, it will cause it to be unstable and crash. And I could be explaining that wrong, but that's how I understand it. But as far as everything, your Caspa settings for all of your GPUs, as far as Nvidia, will be exactly the same as far as Nvidia 30 series. Because I don't have any 20 series, I only have 30 series, so I can only help you with that. It will be exactly the same. Your mem clock settings are the only thing that will change on in the next to the two parentheses or the two bracket, and that is just your memory for ETH hash. So, you know, for example, if it was a 3060, it would be 900, 3060 Ti is 1100, a 3070 is 1200, 3070 Ti is about a thousand. 3080, I run about 900. 3090 is about not is about a thousand. 3090 Ti is also about a thousand. 3080 Ti between 900 and a thousand. Uh, one thing I do want to mention though is that your memory overclocks are not doubled like they were with T Rex and the other miners when we were on ETH. 
So, you know, back in the day, you would do like 2400 because it would normally be 1200 on 3070. This is actually going to be the same as it would have been in Windows. So make sure you keep that in mind or you'll cause your GPUs to crash when they try to mine Zill. So on the second coin, um, you don't have to do anything for the extra config arg arguments. They'll already be there. Just make sure you select Zill and then follow all those settings there. You have to enter the pool URL, the, Z the K1 pool in there or the miner will not work. So just remember that, guys. So your your first screen, one, basically all three of those screens, your flight sheet, your first coin, and your second coin on the extra minor configurations. And remember, this is for Regal Miner, want to look exactly as shown. I just want to show you here what I'm getting on my 3070s and my 3060 Ti's, 518 across the board on the 3070s with anywhere between 65 and 75 watts on the software. Now on the wall, it's about a 10, 5 to 10% difference. 3060 Ti's, uh, 428 across the board, and you're looking anywhere from 55 to 65 watts. My 3080s are 766 watts, or 766 mega hash, between 110 to 120 watts. Now, I forgot to take a screenshot of them, but I do have a rig of 3070 Ti's, and they are about the same power consumption as the 3070s and they get about 541 watts so if you're trying to mine caspa and that's your primary coin i think they're personally for me they're my favorite caspa mining gp right now i think they get the best efficiency to hash rate now let's move to to the amd cards you have to set them up differently the best miner for dual mining is team red miner and it's a little simpler to set up but it's, it's not anywhere near the same as the way you were doing it for the Regal Miner. So basically, you just set up Team Red Miner um, you, and your extra uh, configuration parameters. I can't speak today. You do it exactly like this. And you have to, in the extra config, you have to put in what I have exactly up there. Um, you just, when you go to you, you put your wallet in, dot, your rig name, instead of whatever I had there that I whited out and then that will cause it to mine Zill. So remember it's Team Red Miner and those are the extra, conf that's the extra config. It was kind of hard to find. I kind of had to piece this together myself using some other guides that kind of showed you how to do other coins and I just kind of plugged the gaps in. But this is how you would dual mine both Nexa, or I'm sorry, both Caspa uh, and Zill with Team Red Miner. And I don't know of any other miners that allow you to dual mine as far as AMD goes. Now for your AMD overclocks, I'm not one to go crazy on setting them up properly uh, because I feel like this was the best I could get without tweaking them to the point where I would cause stability issues and I want them to be up long, not the most, I want them to be stable rather than efficient because if they're efficient and they're crashing, they're not really efficient because they're not mining as much. So there's two things here. You want you want the memory settings at 950 and the core at 1700. Now I had to tweak a core a little bit on one of my 6700s because it wasn't behaving properly. But the 6700 XT, the 6800, the 6800 XT, and the 6900 XT, and as far as I understand, the 50 versions as well should all run off the same overclocks. But these are the only three AMD GPUs I own on Big Navi. And, I, and as far as I understand, the 6600 and the 6600 XT have different settings. They're not the same like this. And also, when you are mining on AMD, you have to run a specific command in Hive to make it more efficient. You gain about probably like 30% efficiency, so it's quite, quite a doozy. I will also link that in the comments down below. Now, now here's what it looks like over here. Uh, as far as I'm, I understand, YouTube won't let me put the arrows in, so I'll, you have to add them in yourself. And as you can see, the zeros when you get to the four zeros, the devices slash four zeros, you can you can line them up to match the names of the GPUs, like GPU zero zero three zero zero, and you have to make sure those are correct, or it's not going to run properly. And you put that in the run commands, and then you just you hit enter and it should run just fine and if it works it'll be blue on the hive GUI if it doesn't it'll be red and you know it failed but like I said this will give you an extra 20% 20 to 30% efficiency on the power 
And I think it allows you to not have to go crazy with tuning AMD GPUs because they're kind of a pain in the rear, to be quite honest with you. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. I hope I covered everything as far as mining on HiveOS with AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. Now, remember, I do not have a 20 series GPU and I don't have like a 6600. Now, down the line, I might actually try to get one of each just so I understand them better and maybe I can make some content on them. I sold all my 20 series, so if I get one, I'll try to find one that's like broken and repaired or something super cheap along those lines. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Um, please let me know if there's any kind of content you want to hear in the comments and just sound off down below on what you think. Again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Your time is valuable, so thank you for spending it with me. See you on the next one. Crewman out.